Hello YouTube, Fanta here, and today I have another Day 1 Buy. Uh, it's been a while, actually, since the last Day 1 Buy episode, and I honestly can't explain it. I don't I don't know why. Um, I know I could have put up a couple probably earlier on, different months, but the deals were so quick, I just couldn't get to them right away. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive right in to what I found today. So... Right now, Newegg is doing a pretty big sale on quite a few games. Now, a lot of these games aren't the greatest, but they're at a price range where it's definitely worth it. Now, Assassin's Creed is a series that I've played pretty much every single game of, but I don't support it when it first comes out because I don't feel like the series deserves my $60 anymore. So when it goes down to the $20, $15 price range is usually when I snag it. So right now you can see it's $30, but if you enter the certain code that I have down in the description, it brings it down to $15. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it does have three-day shipping, but of course if you've got Newegg Premier, it's all these, it's all free shipping for all of these, and you also get um, three-day shipping. So bear that in mind. All the prices you're going to see on screen are for before the code, and then after you type in the code in your cart is when this is going to go from 30 to 15. That's how you do it. Check the description for the code. Check the description for the code. There you go. All right. So, moving on, we've got Tom Clancy's The Division, and that game, actually, when you type in the code down in the description, goes down to 23 bucks. Now, I personally am not a huge fan of this game because it's very similar to Destiny, which I also do not like. But I've heard that Taken King fixed it, but when you have to pay money to fix a game, uh, it's kind of iffy. So, this game's 23 bucks now, so if you did want to try it out, um, 23 bucks isn't too much of a gamble. And this is also for Xbox One, PC, and PS4. All the ones you're going to be seeing are for pretty much all three. Um, moving on to Star Wars Battlefront. This game is also available in the Xbox One and PC as well. 30 bucks, it's still not great for this game. This game basically has no content unless you buy the DLC for it, which has gone on sale quite a few times recently, but the community's kind of eh right now. But if you did want to pick up this game for only 15 bucks, enter that code in that description, and 15 bucks isn't too bad. Especially if you've got a couple friends that are going to play it with you, then 15 bucks. I mean, might as well buy it for 15 bucks. The only reason I'm not getting it is just because I don't have any friends that have this game. Another game that I might be picking up pretty soon is actually Far Cry Primal. I'm a big fan of the Far Cry series, but this one just did not, it did not strike a chord with me. It, it, I don't know, it just didn't seem that great. And if you enter the code in the description, you only get it for 20 bucks. So that's crazy. Um, Xbox One, PS4, PC... But, <clears throat> yeah, 20 bucks is about what it should have launched for because they use the same engine as Far Cry 4. There's no multiplayer. And, I don't know. It, it just seemed like an okay game. Um, also, online, if you look, a lot of the structure of the map is about the same as Far Cry 4 as well. If you have a choice between this and Far Cry 4, I recommend Far Cry 4. Sorry I'm crapping all the games so far. Um, the next two I'm not going to take a big dump on. Lego Star Wars Awakens, this is actually a pretty new game, and if you type in the code below, if it still works, um, I've heard some problems with it, but this is also for Xbox One and PS4, 20 bucks if you type in that code down below. Um, if you click on the Xbox One version, it does say sold out, so PS4 is pretty much the only option at this point. And, I don't know, if the, if the code still works, 20 bucks for a basically brand new game. And I love the, the LEGO games. I think they're a lot of fun. I haven't played any of the new ones recently, but I did like the LEGO Star Wars superheroes game. And I love the LEGO Star Wars games. Another great one is Doom. Now, this has actually been on sale for quite a while for 20 bucks. But if you enter that code down below in the description, PS4, Xbox One, and PC, 20 bucks is great, especially because Newegg doesn't charge tax. So that's cool. Um, the only problem is that three-day shipping, or $3 shipping, rather. So if you can find it somewhere else for cheaper, 
I would go with that. I'm not sure if it's still going for um, 20 bucks on Amazon. If it is, I'd, in fact, let's find out, actually. Um, so let's go to... Oh, well, this is another deal I was going to talk about. The Halo 5 Guardians Limited Edition is only 25 bucks. That's a crazy good deal. If you don't have Halo 5 already and you have an Xbox One, why? why? The game's awesome. Now, I don't like the campaign that much, but the multiplayer is a ton of fun, and they've been adding a ton of new free content. They've added tons of new maps, tons of new weapons, and an insane amount of new armor. Uh, and this one also not only comes with the game, but it comes with the Warzone Rec Bundle, which comes with 14 premium requisition packs, which just give you new weapons and skins and stuff like that. The steel book, and then it's got a uh, like a metal guardian model. In fact, I think I can pull it up right here. Yeah, so that looks pretty cool. Um, I almost bought this just for the steel book and that metal model. I stopped myself, but I almost did it. Uh, well, I guess it comes to the Warzone rec pack. It's almost worth it at that point. Uh, let's go ahead and check Doom. Is it still twenty bucks? It is not. So this was twenty bucks quite a while ago. Um, but you can get the Collector's Edition if you want uh, for $41, which isn't that bad. Especially because it comes with that big old statue. And it does come with a multiplayer pack. The only weird thing about it is a lot of Collector's Editions these days don't come with the Season Pass. Why does it not come with the Season Pass? It's the Collector's Edition. This was like 120 bucks when it first came out and it did not come with the Season Pass. That doesn't make any sense to me. But now it's not so bad at 40 bucks. Um, the game itself is incredible. Highly recommend Doom. It's, it's, it's truly a great game. And I actually like the single player a lot on that game. Bethesda does a great... Well, not Bethesda. Um, Bethesda published it. It's, I believe it's id that did the actual development. If I click this, it'll tell me. There you go, id, yeah. So Wolfenstein, Doom, all those games are great. And I highly recommend you guys pick up this one as well. Um, also going on right now is Target is having a huge clearance sale on a ton of just random games. I know for a fact that Mighty Number no. 9 is on sale for $9. I saw... Um, at one point, I missed it. I was so close to going to the store that day, but I was like, I'm very busy, I'll go tomorrow. And then they sold out. They had Hyrule Warriors for the Wii U. For $17. Now that's a game that has not dropped in price ever. It's just been sticking at that high price tag. I believe it's 40 or 60 at the moment. Let's go ahead and pull it up. While I'm here, I'm sorry, this is very unprofessional that I'm looking this up, whatever. Uh yeah, still 60 bucks here on Amazon, which is insane because I don't think the game even sold that well. And I hope they make this one of those Nintendo Selects games in the future because I thought it was a lot of fun. If you like Dynasty Warriors, you're going to like Hyrule Warriors a lot. Even if you don't like Dynasty Warriors, you might... Uh, well, no, you won't. You won't like it. But if you do like Dynasty Warriors, I definitely recommend picking that up. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And go ahead and leave that thumbs up down below if you did. Comment down below if there's any games on this list that you're thinking about picking up. And please, check out my new review. Why not? Check it out for me, you know? I, I do, I put in a lot of effort in these reviews, and they seem to not get very many views, but, you know, up to you. Also coming up in the reviews are Yokai Watch 2, this one's Fleshy Souls, my girlfriend stole bony spirits from me, Mike, the name, right? Um, but I loved the first one, so I'm going to be going to do, trying to do a video review on the second one, because my first one was only written. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more game hunts. New garage sale video coming out very soon. That's right. Yard sale game hunting is coming back. It's been months, guys. Months. But yes, we are finally getting a new video up very soon. And to everybody that's been sticking around, thank you for your patience. Seriously. it's It's been a crazy bad year when it comes to game finds. But... We're finding stuff again. Um, we just put up two, uh, well, one was Offer Up, and the other was Craigslist Game Find. And uh, those are also, um, I think it was like four and five days ago that we put those up. So definitely check those out. And like I said already, have a great day, guys.